It looks like we actually did it. After Unity stock dropped nearly 8% in one day and lost around a billion dollars of value, a recorded conversation with Unity's board was given to Bloomberg and it sounds like many of the major issues are going to be fixed. Yesterday, Unity tweeted out that they were sorry for the confusion and angst that their announcement caused when they said that all developers would have to pay 20 cents to Unity for every install that their game gets. Now, this recording gives some positive turn of events. And although it is not official yet and still needs final approval from Unity's partners, I I can't help but feel really proud and thankful for this community that we may have actually played a part in fixing this decision and helping so many of my indie developer friends. So let's get into it. According to Bloomberg, Unity will announce that these installation fees will be limited to 4% of a company's revenue. And while that still is a lot of money to be paying, it is way better than the 100 plus percent they could have claimed before, which I still can't believe is the thing. The second update is in regards to one of the most controversial parts of this new policy, when Unity said that they would use their own proprietary tools to track the number of installs which we called out that Unity has historically never been able to tell the difference between real installs, pirated installs, and reinstalls on new devices. And now they're basically going to admit that we were right and that they don't have the tech to track this. So instead, they're going to rely on users to self-report the data. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the third thing that's coming is that installs won't be retroactively counted towards the threshold. So where previously all you needed was 200,000 lifetime installs of your game to start getting charged, now only installs after January 1st will start counting towards Towards that threshold. And while all these changes are a positive step, I think the CEO of Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, said it best back in 2019 when he said, in the ecosystem like Unreal, Unity, or Godot, companies live and die by the ground rules that are established. Devs have put years of their lives into building something and nothing is worse than changing the rules and confiscating their investments. And so while I do hope these changes will actually happen, I can't imagine anyone working on a new project is going to leave the future of their business in Unity's hands.